Music business has been good to me, bro. Man, come on, man. Okay, so with the screw thing, mm-hmm. you meet Screw, you link in over Screw. I met Screw through Bam. Through Bam, okay. I screwed his record myself, and I and I put Screw version, and I didn't talk to Screw. Bam said, "How can you get this to me?" He said, "Lump, you ain't know." I heard his music at Surround by Sound. I used to hate it until I heard "I Want to Be Down" remix. Hmm. Screw had that whole "Oh my God." And then the other one that I love from school was hard to think when your mind goes blank. Yeah. With the Delia in the, the background. Remix, yeah. Oh, yeah. my yeah. God, yeah. bro. Yeah. See, my homeboy was a cold-ass DJ. Niggas at the box be talking about trying not to say the N-word no more. Brothers at the box didn't want him up there. They act like they did. They lying. The reason why is when the screw hit the fader this way, the he, left he turn, said, case, he switched it up. it up. Backwards, yeah, yeah. No, we can't do that. Oh, they were scared. But you know what tripped them out? The basketball team at Rice got on Channel 13 and said how they warmed up the screw music. Before anything, oh, it's a clip. You can go back and find it. It's on channel two or eleven. It's not thirteen. Well, Screw started doing. Screw people don't know he was cold at regular speed. So I met him and Nikki the same night. I went to him like a man. Hey, homie. This is when he DJing. This is like a no. Nah, it was he. I met him at the club. I met him at Pocket. What is they? They used to call it. This is club. But they used to shoot pool at. No matter. No, I take that back. I met Screw at Boomerang that night. We was on the side of Boomerang, and I said, "Man, I'm Lump. Man, I'm Bam's manager." I messed this up, bro. Like, I literally called your record. Of, I called his record a version, and you didn't do it. He said, Lump, Bam was like, man, how can you say it's a screw version and screw didn't do it? So I was like, damn, that, that makes sense. I had talked to Daryl Scott because I met Daryl Scott through Floyd. Hmm. He used to get all the Daryl Scott exclusives, 12 and a half, 7 and a half, 13 and a half, all of the mixtapes. So Daryl was cool with screw, so I kind of, hey, D, I got to go talk. He said, man, just go talk to him. I said, cool. I said, man, I apologize. He said, man, I like you. He said, most people do that and they don't ever come talk to me. He said, you made a mistake, you came to me. He said, man, I respect that. He gave me a pound of hug. And this is like around what years? This is 90, I graduated from college in 94, so this was 96. 96. So this is like prime screw era. What? Yeah. He just had a club on Hillcroft in Maine. They used to open up at 2 o'clock in the morning. Hmm. You couldn't get in there. Pat used to be the MC. Screw was the DJ. You have a club full of people in there banging out the screw, and he mixing live. Nothing like it in the world, homie. Man. $25 to get in. This was before Houston. Because, you know, Houston is a $10 city. You pay more than $10. People ain't. We just not getting to the point because brothers start traveling, getting their credit right, fixing their teeth, getting their clothes right, spraying <laughs> on cologne because they travel. <laughs> they see what sections cost. Then people like Candy, people like Kurt. You know, people like the Roxy, Brian, and them. Okay, yeah, you want to get up in here, you got to pay a little bit more. I got pictures of Jay-Z and Bun B rocking out at the Roxy after the concert, after the Woodlands, hmm. after the Rock the Mic. I got them pictures. Paint. I always had my camera with me because I always had to document everything. So that's how my photography kicked in. I've, like that picture of Screw that everybody has with his hat backwards like that. I took that picture, that ring that he has on. I sent him to New York with Justo, where he fell asleep on the air with uh, uh, Funk Master Flex. Cause he no was so shit. high off. He missed the play three times. Tommy Langston and Nicky can tell you that just to get there. He sleep. He used to stay up for four days and then sleep for three. Popping pills, drinking drink, smoking fry. People don't like talking about that. But the reason why we have people repeating the same behavior is it's because we don't just, talk about it's, it. It's not out there, yeah. We yeah. ran Andrew Chung out of here from Houston Press who, who made a derogatory article on Screw. You can't find him around here nowhere. You ain't going to talk about my home. I don't care what kind of problem he had. You weren't saying that when he was alive. So you ain't going to say it when he died. No, nah, partner, we don't do that. I was the cat who used to have to call the radio station on July the 20th to tell him that it was his birthday and November 16th to remind him that he died. And now everybody screwed up and screwed up. I ain't got a problem with it because his name lit. When I went to a rave one time and they had a video game hooked up to audio and they slowed down the pitch to the sounds on the video game while these kids in there dropping tablets. Mm. That's when I knew the culture was crazy. Mm. That's why I was so glad that I took the picture that I never got paid a dime for when everybody else was getting paid for it. But when Screw come back and pull them on their toe when they sleep, that's on them. I did what was right by my homeboy. Clyde actually designed the, the one I Don't Want to Hurt No More because that was one of Screw's favorite songs. And that hat is backwards. If you look at that picture for real, you'll notice that the two diamonds are missing out of the ring because Screw used to fall asleep and just fall out and knock the diamonds on the floor. So they was out. So if you ever look at that picture, you'll see my El Camino in the background. Mm. You'll see Screw with his hands up, and you'll see the two diamonds out of the ring. Yeah. 
that same picture on that same day, we had a Brad van and a Kobe Bryant van because OJ, the dude who I burnt up, he started working for Columbia and Leslie Wyatt from rap was the regional for Columbia. That day I took him by the screw shop and that's the day that I took that picture. Hmm. I got another picture of screw standing by the coat by the uh, Brat van because they had two Bronco, they had two Tahoes wrapped, and that was the day that I took them famous pictures of him standing up by his Impala with the Fubu shirt on, him with the hat backwards, pop, and then him over at the Brat and Kobe's truck. Man, okay, so all right, screw in '96, you meet him. What's his impression? You were saying like he was much smaller, you know? What he I mean? was a little, he, he was a little chubby, but he wasn't that. But see, when you drink like that, it processes out of sugar on the other side. Sugar don't break fructose corn syrup, screw a fried chicken from gas stations before it was Popeyes and churches. He ate them fried ass burritos. He drank sodas. He ate peanuts. Then you taking them drugs. And then I probably going to get a lot of flack for this, but this is the truth. A lot of the cats around screw, if they weren't around him for the drugs because he had the money, they was around him because they could sell it to him because they knew he had money. Hmm. So how you going to help push him in the grave and then cry at his funeral? That ain't no friend. Friend tell you what you need to know, not what you want to hear. You say, oh, he a grown man. If you my friend and I consider you brother, I'm looking if you're messing you. up, yeah. look here, homeboy. And if you value our friendship that much, you'll, I'm either going to move away around because I can't see you kill yourself like I did. Like when he moved to Sugar Land, I had to stop because the drug, I, don't, I don't do drugs, bro. Like I drink, I smoke cigars and I drink uh, Uncle Nears. That's it for me. I'm cool. I don't like being not in my right mind, bro. I like being relaxed. So you were saying you were saying when he when he moved to Sugar, it was a when you say that's like a difference. You notice the difference when he moved from man. You know when you get money, man. To, money amplifies who you are, right? And what you are. Screw wasn't no bad dude, but Screw liked what he liked. But I ain't gonna let nobody muddy my homeboy name up. Yeah, like that ain't gonna happen. Yeah, I don't care who you are. Yeah, and I ain't gonna let y'all lie and talk about how much y'all loved him when he was here, and then y'all don't even want him on the radio station. Because of some bull coin. No, it's because at regular speed, he'd tear your ass up. He was cold, man. Them little fat ass fingers. Anytime you can take two instrumentals and one a cappella and make everything, you know how hard that is as a, as yeah, a, as a producer sure. and a DJ. Yeah, yeah. He did that like he was nothing. Yeah. No, smoking, I'll tell a, what, smoking a cigarette that was dipped in formaldehyde. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston.